Um, Umpile, thanks for taking the time to stay with us on ENCA. The first question I asked was, are you surprised at the stance that Quinton de Kock took? Uh, I think it's, it's a difficult one. You would have expected a player of his color by Nestacha to actually stand in solidarity with um, black people as that's what the movement isn't uh, about. You know, it's an anti-racism movement. So you would have expected him to stand in solidarity, but I think there is that element of um, individual freedom that you're allowed to exercise. So, and I think he's taken that decision and we just got to respect it. But Umpile, where do we draw the line between this being a racial issue and him just expressing his personal human rights? You see, uh, the difference here is that once you wear the green and gold, you represent actually South Africa. So you represent the national interest. And we have to actually ask the question, what is in the national interest here? And I think Cricket South Africa Board has taken a decision that is in the national interest. I think the Black Lives Matter movement is a movement that actually deals with anti-racism. And South Africa's history actually tells us that we should be anti-racist in every way possible. But most importantly, if you're representing the Proteas, which is a, a national team, you have to actually, you are wearing the national flag you're wearing the national colors. So at all times, you have to represent the country in that fashion. So if the decision and the direction is that we believe that Black Lives Matter movement is something we're supporting as a country, then that's the direction we're going and the players have to follow suit. But this is nothing new to cricket as they are currently going through a very painful uh, process with the social justice and nation, a national building hearings uh, that is being chaired by advocate Dumisa Nzebeza. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's been a very telling uh, exercise with the SJN, and it's been very difficult. And I think that's why it's important for Cricket South Africa to be very clear on issues of race and where they stand. You know, so we can't be uh, lackluster in terms of race relations. We must be very precise, and we must be anti-racist, you know. And you must remember that when players are actually standing, right, they actually, it's a form of protest. So it's not that you're standing and you're saying you're representing your own interest. You are protesting against the very thing that is in front of you, which is people kneeling in an anti-racist movement. So I think it's important that uh, the SJN also keeps, um, one, unearthing what the issues have been. But we also have to move past that point as well, where we now get to a point of what direction should the country be going in. And I think the board has taken a step in the right direction on this particular matter. Having said that, then what must happen regarding race and sport in South Africa? We, we have to work collaboratively. I think race shouldn't really be an issue. We should be working uh, towards, we understand that transformation is an imperative in this country, and it's something we have to collectively work towards and realize those objectives. So in sport, there is an element where transformation actually is about opening doors that have been closed for quality black players to come through. And I think we've seen that in many sports. We've seen that in rugby, we've seen that in cricket, and we've seen it in other sports, even in hockey, actually, you've seen that. So transformation is an imperative. It's something that we have to drive. We have to be vigilant about. And we have to be vigilant about it, not only at a national level, but we also have to look at what's happening at grassroots so that the momentum is sustainable. Umpile, I wonder if uh, the antidote, uh, of course, for this problem is, as you've mentioned, collaboration. In closing, is, or rather, what is the next step regarding Quinton de Kock, uh, especially because he's so key for the Proteus? I believe Quinton has to make a decision uh, in terms of which direction he wants to move. He needs to understand what the Black Lives Matter movement is about, then make a decision that whether he is for that and to actually have a clear understanding that once you represent South Africa, you actually suspend a lot of your own self-interest and you stand on the national platform representing the country, whether it's here or abroad, it's important that the country's image is maintained at all times and that the position that we hold constitutionally and otherwise is actually reflected in our sporting teams. All right, uh, thanks for your time there, Umpile Ramela. That's former CSA interim board member just speaking about the events that took place earlier on today, just after the SJN hearings, and of course, Quinton de Kock withdrawing from the national team ahead of that important match against the West Indies. Shahan and uh, Sally, back to you.